Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Well today it's super hot, super sticky. You can almost cut it with a knife. And the bugs, they're really, really, really bad. So I'm going Tenkara fishing. Why not? All these bugs bring up another issue though. Bug bivvies. I've got this bivy I purchased on eBay for $26 shipped. You know, if you try to see, a lot of people will correctly take a poncho or other tarp with them, but the bugs, they'll eat you alive. You know, you think they're gonna give you any sleep? It's not gonna happen. Now, around two miles from this very spot, there was a bear sighting of a mother and cubs. Of course, I've got the footage. There they are, which means there's more bears in the area. So I'm gonna to have to sleep out tonight. Definitely take some precautions on that one. Um, I don't consider them a huge risk. I consider the uh, bugs, including the ticks and the mosquitoes, much more problematic. However, I don't foresee myself having a uh, wild bacon feast in the woods. Maybe a trout or maybe just mountain house. We'll see how it plays out. Let's go. I was gonna watch this uh, little cap. Nice smart water bottle. Bear spray. And my hiking poles. I'm gonna try one more uh, fishing spot. Then it's time to set up the bug bivy. Try my luck right here. Water's low and it's kind of murky too. No luck. I think it's just too hot. That kind of blue, no fish, but Let's check out the bug bivvies. I reviewed this bug bivy. This is the Sea to Summit. It's small, but there's no floor. I'll put up the weights where I got it. For the, at least it cost me $26. has tie-offs. Pretty fine, um, no see -um.
doors. A bathtub type floor, which means it has a bit of a side on it. Maybe better if I set it up and showed you. With all four corners staked down, hiking pole to the maximum extension. I'll get a tie off for this. The four tie offs. Catches the whole system right there to the hiking pole, maximum extension. Line runs down to the ground. One door here. Another door there. Let's go in, check it out. I gotta say, this is uh, pretty nice. So I'm laid back here. I definitely think um, I can get some bug free rest in here. There. Everything's pretty wet, humid. I think for a passing shower, this would work. Some water.
It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. A leaf. The bug bivy is away from my face, arms. Away from my legs. That's very good. That's what I want. Although some of these, probably not this one, are sprayed with um, perithian or something else. There's nothing beats having it away from your body. Because if your skin is up against, they'll just bite right through it. I mean, why not? So, bug bivvies, inner tents, whatever. They got to have room. And this one's got tons of room. We'll see what tomorrow brings. It wasn't that bad of a night. This pad here, it's thin. I had, I had this uh, inside my pack. So it's real thin. So it's not the um, ideal for comfort, but the ground is uh, kind of soft. So that helped. The bugs, ah, they couldn't get to me. What I'm going to do is use one of these cubes, which I reviewed. So I put the grate on the bottom position. I'm gonna lift light, push the cube in, then be able to feed the fuel on top of the combustion. Seem to work pretty good. That's a good boil. You want to remove a little, uh, I think it's a desiccate packet or something like that.
So pack it out, water in, now I wait. Let's give this mountain house a try. Still a little hot. Those potatoes, they seem to hold the heat. The beef stew, it's one of my favorites. Also, this bug bivy, giving it a thumbs up. I think it did a great job. If you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching.